Hey, welcome back to learning to program with Godot. So in this video, I'm going to do a kind of a mid or two thirds of the way through this um, final project uh, review. And I thought I'd show off what I've got going. So all the buttons here work and I've got uh, the ship statuses and all these numbers update. So here I can, I can't repair right now because my ship is already fully repaired. So I've got these max numbers here to demonstrate or to show that there's a maximum number there. And then the same, you can't hire more crew after you've hit the max of 10. Um, but you can buy these other things, so I can buy maybe some lumber and some canvas, and then uh, leave the shop, and then you can go explore. And so when you explore, you get a random event that happens, and then you get a couple of uh, buttons that you can respond with. So in this case, uh, there's a small island, and do I want to stop and investigate? And I can say, yeah, sure. And I get a result here, and the result is... Uh, I search the island, don't find anything, and I hit a rock on the way out, and my ship takes 8 damage. Now I can repair that damage using my lumber and canvas, so I'll click that. See my ship status is back to 100, and it used up some of my uh, lumber and canvas. Now I can explore again. Here I boarded a ship, and I gained 200 gold, but my ship took 25 damage. So I'll have to go to the shop and buy some lumber to replace that. So there I just repaired most of my damage on my ship and I can go again. Now if you have ammo uh, and you attack a ship you can alright so here we'll board the ship again got the same one and this time I had the ammo so I got a little bit more gold but I lost that ammo and I took a little bit of damage but not as much. Um, so you get a little bit of a trade-off there. <clears throat> so let's look at uh, a little bit how this works. There's a few other events that can happen too. So let's look at a couple things here. I don't want to show off the whole thing. We'll do a full review on the last video. But one of the two of the things I wanted to show specifically is in the source code. I've got this player state. This is the first time I had messed with this, but uh, you can create a class. And this is a class that extends Node, but this doesn't have it's not a, a game node that goes over here, it's just a class that can go in your code that you can define in your code. So this is what it looks like on this side. So I've created a, uh, a definition for that, for that player state. And then down here is where I'm creating an instance of that class and then storing it in this global variable called pstate. And so that's the status that where these numbers come from. All of these are tracked in that one uh, game class. And then when you go to the, the nice thing about it being in a, um, in a class like that is I can pass that to things like the repair modal. So if I pull up uh, my shop panel right here, I can look at this script <clears throat> and it expects one of those player states. And so I can just pass update the labels and here's the player state and it can go and update all those labels from that one game object. And yeah, you could use a dictionary, but this ensures that um, this object is going to be in that state and have all these properties. Um, when it when it comes gets to this code. So anyways, uh, yeah, that, that was really neat. And then the other thing I did was using that same kind of idea with the uh, or the same game class, just a different one. I made the exploration events, and this one has uh, this array of dictionaries that defines all these properties about the different events that can happen and the results. And then down at the bottom here. The other neat thing about having these uh, custom classes is you can create functions off those. So I have one called get random event and what it does is it randomly picks from all the random events that are available and picks one of them to hand back. So uh, that's the key things I wanted to show. I have a little bit more artwork that I've uh, done and I've done some, you know, these are master copies so I couldn't sell this but uh, what I do is I, I, I've got a drawing tab that I bought recently and I've been trying to learn to use it and doing master copies is a really good way to help you learn to uh, kind of build those motor skills and, and whatnot so anyways yeah I don't intend to sell this game so I it's okay that I do that but if you wanted to sell it you would actually need to um, make these up yourself I have modified them a little bit and but not probably enough that I would want to uh, try and sell it so anyways I uh, just wanted to mention that real quick and uh, I've got some other art for the start and end but I want to have a failed state too so currently if you run out of ship status and sink your ship you do get a game over message but it doesn't go to like a game over picture and I'd like to do that before I wrap up this game so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it uh, inspires you to work on your own game alright bye